Welcome to the Canuck Gear Reviews channel, and today we are going to review the Groman D.H. Russell belt knife, number two, Trout and Bird model. Yeah, that's a mouthful, but what it is basically is the Trout and Bird from Groman. Groman is a Canadian company based out of Pictou, Nova Scotia in Canada, and being from Canada, I'm kind of patriotic about these knives. America has their Buck Knives, which I happen to love too. They have basically every other quality cutlery brand. Canada has Groman. Groman has been known for over 60 years as the outdoor knife for Canadians. They have many models, one including the number three Ar Canadian Army knife or the boat knife. And some people might recognize this design from a cold steel knife called the Canadian belt knife. Now that's a blatant ripoff of this, but I happen to like that too. Just the whole elliptical design of the blade allows for amazing slicing and cutting with very little drag. My favorite part about this knife is the fact that it's Canadian. We've been known for our anti-gun laws, which I happen to disagree with half the things on the internet. I'm a gun owner. It's not difficult. You just have to be smart about it. The blade on this knife is 3 7 8 inches, so it's a nice small knife. It doesn't say big game in the in the title it's trout and bird it's a small small game knife but I actually use this for moose hunting it's not very big but it gets everywhere you need to go it's nice and sharp it stays sharp easy to resharpen and it gets it just glides along the skin if you want if you use it as a skinning knife it will help you very much I may add this is only my second video the first one being my Buck Vantage Small Select, or Select Small, review. So I'm still getting the hang of things, don't hold that against me. I'll try my best to include all of the necessary information and my personal opinion, which in this review matters the most because it's a review. It's not a spec, a specification list, it's a review, an honest representation of what I feel are the winning qualities and the destroying qualities of this knife. It has a wooden handle, a rosewood handle with nice brass pins, extra strong, except up in this area. I managed to nick that off of a moose rib cage bone and somehow chipped it, but it gives it character. Yeah, that's my excuse. The blade has nice nice jimping on the on the spine, which adds extra grip, and it's a nice jimping. Like I cannot for the life of me push my thumb up further than that. The markings say Groman D.H. Russell number two stainless. Now this is their number two model. Their original Canadian belt knife or D.H. Russell belt knife is just a little bit bigger than this. The elliptical blade's a bit wider, but for me, I thought I liked the convenience of having having just a smaller blade because I like to use this for fishing as well as hunting and camping. It's an all-purpose knife. It comes in this beautiful, this beautiful open top oiled leather sheath, which holds the knife wonderfully. You can't get that out of there, but it comes out super easy once you pull it. Etched into the sheath is the Groman logo, preceded with a little Canadian leaf, just to kind of throw back to its roots. It will hold up to a one and a half inch belt with the belt loop, and that and I carry it on a belt quite easily. It's nice and small, it doesn't get in the way, and people don't look at it ridiculously. So if you're camping, you can carry that. Now, I carry that when I'm hunting along with my, if I can find that, there it is, my Buck 110 Folding Hunter, 50th Anniversary Edition. Yeah, I like to throw in the 50th Anniversary Edition there. Now this is an American icon. Everybody knows this when they see it. This is a Canadian icon. Everybody knows the Groman name if you're into hunting, fishing, outdoors, or you have a grandfather that's into hunting, fishing, or outdoors. Chances are, if your grandfather has a nice hunting knife that he just won't, won't let go of, it's a Groman. I'm a huge fan of this knife, and that probably shows in this video. I don't know many of the specs for it because they're all a little bit different. They're, they're hand finished, 
we don't have a huge factory for them, but they do have a lifetime limited warranty. And if the limited, if your issue isn't covered by the limited warranty, you can get it replaced or fixed for very, very little cost. Now that little chip in the handle, I won't worry about that. That was that was completely my fault. Like as I was getting around a bit of meat along the bone, I chipped it against another one, and it just happened to pop up a little bit. But in my opinion, that gives it character. It's just a memory of one of the first, the first uh, big game animals I, I dressed with this knife, because this was my first hunting knife. I bought this from a little shop in Port Perry, Ontario, for sixty three dollars and ninety five cents, and that was a hell of a deal, because I have not found one of these for under eighty, and that was online at the best, the best uh, wholesale cost, like Knife Center. I don't think that's on there, but places like Knife Center or Knife Ship Free, all those really great deal places, I can't find one of these for under 80. And the price tag on the beautiful box that comes in right here, sorry for all the noise, it's right behind the camera. Oh, comes in this awesome box right here, which also includes their kitchen catalog and their outdoors catalog. and superior handcrafted quality and information about their company. But if you look at that little price tag right there, $63.95 Canadian. You notice I said Canadian after that. That's a huge difference. For some reason, things are more expensive here. Not sure why, but they just are. But apparently, Groman knives are an exception. I'm very proud that I was able to get this amazing piece of Canadian iconic I'm not sure what the word for it is but it's it's an icon and it's also a great performer for a great price thank you for visiting the Canuck Outdoor Review channel and have a great day